So hello guys and welcome back to Learning MG. Today I'm going to do a quick video between the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air. So basically both of these have got the chip M1, so that's, you have to bear that in mind. And basically this is the MacBook Air. I do think that the, you know, that I've got here the touch bar and here you've got the actual uh, keyboard per se. You know that from 2022 onwards they actually took away the touch bar, so all of them come standard with the with the keyboard. Remember that both the speakers come here, uh, they have perforated here the, the the metal and it's it's the speakers the new macbook air which you've got it here does not have the actual perforation they come just here down here it's the the speakers not here and uh, i do think that both of the chip m1 if you get the actual uh, 8 gigabyte ram i think they do uh, work amazingly well i do think that both are great computers now uh, what would i uh, tell the differences well macbook air i would use it more for like i'm imagine you're a student grad you just wanted to jot some uh, notes on on a, on a class, then maybe uh, you should actually think about the MacBook Air. If you haven't got any actual, uh, uh, let's say, cinematic production or graphics, then I would go more into MacBook Air. Let's say you are a YouTuber, you want to uh, uh, change your channel, you want to do some copy paste, you're going to do real work on your YouTube videos, you want to do some Excel, some real complicated graphics, then maybe the MacBook Pro is for you. Either way, uh, you guys know that the hardware, I don't really like to talk much about it because that's on the Apple page, but these, they are both very similar. I do think that uh, the MacBook Pro is the premium, so the, um, Apple is a premium, but if you want to pay the premium, yeah, the MacBook Pro costs a little bit more. This is 1,800, more or less 2,000, and this one is more or less 1,200, 1,300. So it just depends on, on the budget. But I do recommend that if, it's, let's say, you do you want to buy the Pro and you don't have got the budget, just by the year uh, before, let's say it's 2024, by the 2023 model or 2022, I do recommend it because they are great computers and they don't come, they don't go like obsolete within one year whatsoever. I've had my laptops for more than 10, 11, years and I haven't had any issues. I've got even a Mac of 2014, so <laughs> bear that in mind. So as always, if you've got any questions about any of this MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, or anything in general about our videos, leave them down here below and me or anyone from the Learning MG team will answer all the as possible. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. If you want to support the channel, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we will have the YouTube algorithm. And thank you very much as always.